Right now we're at Mini of Portland. We are here for the all British field meets driving tour and we're about to start out. Let's take a look at some of the cars that are here. Got the Sunbeam Tiger, Austin Healey 3000. Another Austin Healey behind that. Over here we've got a Mini, Morris Minor, Lotus, Jensen Interceptor, Jaguar, and a couple Land Rovers down there. We've got a Mini Moak and a Ranger Cub. This is a weird three-wheel version of a classic Mini Cooper. We have a Mini behind that. Jaguar XJS. There are a bunch of new Minis and Land Rovers here as well. And we've got an MGA, another Mini, a TR7 or 8, can't tell. It's me. 8. We got a BGT. And a couple more minis. A lot of minis here today. A few more cars have shown up now. Beautiful Morgan. Another modern mini. MGC GT. An MGA. It's very brown. Another classic Mini. And an MGB. Both the driver and... Just Cars just keep showing up. We have a Jaguar E-Type convertible. An Iris Blue Bug Eye Austin Healey Sprite behind that. We have a modern Morgan three-wheeler. And another TR8. There's some more cars here now, an MGTD. MGB, Jaguar XK150, MG Midget, and another Austin Healey 3000 over here. Let's take a closer look at some of these cars while we're waiting. Looks like the smoke still has a magic wand shifter. One gauge, of course. This one only has a single wiper on the driver's side. Still has the correct lighting. A lot of people have changed the lights on the back of their mokes to brighter, easier to see lighting. Behind that is the Ranger Cub. The front of this looks a lot like a Marcos Mini Marcos. If we look underneath the front of here, you can see the Mini Cooper engine poking down from there. That's the bottom of the transmission. But as you continue around to the back, it's actually only a three-wheeler, so very different from a Marcos Mini Marcos. There is an opening trunk here in the back. There's some discolored circles here, and I'm imagining that they had a luggage rack that was suction cup to this. That's what I'm thinking that those are from. This one is right-hand drive. You can see the instrumentation there. We have a speedometer, combination fuel and temperature gauge, and then oil and volts on this side. Welcome to the tour this year. This is great, great response. Keep in mind that there's a lot of people working to make this and ABFM happen, including uh, seven different car clubs here. This Jaguar wagon is very, very rare here in the United States. I thought this was one of the SUVs when I first saw it. I'm going to be navigating in the Jensen Interceptor. This is a poker run and we're starting out with a pretty good hand already. We have a 10 and a 6 of hearts. We'll pick up more cards as we go along. So we were given a set of instructions as well as maps and also a link to the Relista Drive application. If you want to see the route, scan your phone on this QR code here.
We just got two more cards. We added a King of Spades and an Ace of Diamonds. British Auto Works, they have a lot of MGs around here. We picked up a couple more cards. We have a pair of Kings right now. some of the cars getting ready to race this weekend. The Dormobile. The end of the poker run ends at the Moss Motors booth here at Portland International Raceway. Well, we ended up with just two kings for the day. So, pretty sure we didn't win. I had fun on the poker rally today. I'm really excited for the car show tomorrow down here. There's also vintage racing the whole day. So I'm gonna be really busy running around and seeing what I can film.